Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Sam Jones. It's good to have you here on Perspectives today. Our very first guest is Anina Collier. She's the dean of the McCann Center for Creativity in Tulsa. Welcome. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. I am happy to be here. A little bit about the center. What is it? Sure. So we are part of Tulsa Community College, the metro campus downtown, and we teach art, design, and communication. But we also offer all kinds of community programming events, art exhibits that are free and open to the public. We have some video that we're going to show a little bit for the folks at home. We'll get a chance to see it for the first time and perhaps you can help explain it as we see it. Sure. Daniel, if you'll go ahead and roll that video in and she can take a look. Uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to death to get a chance to see it myself. Yeah, so this is one of our art exhibits that we did recently that was on mental health. And then the family there is- I can is, see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the family there is doing uh, Please Touch the Art, which is another one of our um, annual exhibits. So yeah, this looks like highlights from our art exhibits, it's a, it's a, the, the event hall is a multi-use facility. So anytime you come in, even if you're coming in for a community event of some type, there's always art up. And we focus, and there's John Fulbright from actually one of the first uh, events I did uh, when I moved to Tulsa almost nine years ago now. Um, so yeah, these are some, some highlights from the Center for Creativity. It's really varied, our offerings. One thing that caught my ear, you said that mm -hmm. please touch me. Yeah, please touch the art, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no one gets to touch art. I know, right? Yeah. yeah so that is um, an exhibit that we held annually up until COVID for obvious reasons. Um, but it is an art exhibit where it's just like it sounds like everything can be touched. Uh, but we try to allow people to experience art using all five senses. So that exhibit has a special focus on visitors who are blind or visually impaired. But really, it's for anybody that wants to experience art in another way. And we'll be back with that annually. Annually, uh, not this summer, but the next summer. You also have uh, various free exhibits, and I need to stress that because a lot of folks are under the impression, well, you know, what's it cost to get in? Right. Yeah, it's free. And what's what, everything that Center for Creativity sponsors is free and open to the public. And that is part of our mission of uh, community is our middle name at Tulsa Community College. And so getting people to be able to experience it, keeping the barrier for entry low is very important. But I'll also add uh, that, especially with the viewership of this show, we're at the point now where we are live streaming just about everything we do. So even if you can't make it to downtown Tulsa, uh, chances are you can still watch the live stream and participate that way too. That this, looks yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun one. This is part of our, our I Can't workshop series. So this was I Can't Drum with the BART Center for Music. Well, so, now this isn't one of those deals where you all come bring your own drum. No, it? we provided them. Yeah, yeah so through the BART, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. through our partner organization. Yes, yeah, so everything that we do, if a supply is required, we provide it. This is a, a leather crafting workshop that we did where people learned how to to make feathers. And this was a great one. So we did I Can't Ride a Bike with Bike Club Tulsa. And that was for specifically for adults who'd never had the opportunity to learn how to ride a bike. I was going to say, there are those out there who have not been on a bike before. It's true. My own grandmother learned to ride a bike when she was in her late 60s. And no so, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and this is our recess series, which is a summer series that's for people of all ages. So uh, whether you go uh, with your kids or on your own, it's kind of intergenerational movement classes. And again, another photo from uh, the uh, leather crafting workshop. So hopefully these pictures are giving you the, the impression that we are extremely varied when it comes to mm -hmm. our subject mm -hmm. matter. Um, Obviously, you know, you've been seeing a lot of visual arts, but uh, we've been doing a lot of storytelling workshops. Uh, we have uh, guest speakers coming in to speak about uh, just about any topic you can imagine. We have a, a, a vision of uplifting marginalized and underrepresented voices. And so a lot of uh, who we, um, who we elevate and who we interact with um, uh, underlies that mission as well. You have a number of partnerships scattered about. I mean, you have to have. Right. Any organization would, mm -hmm. you know, bring in partnerships. But you also involve national partnerships, don't you? We do, and this is a great example. So this is the TEDx, the first TEDx that we did, event that we did several years ago. Nash McCorders gave a wonderful TEDx talk. Uh, but we, uh, yeah, we, we work with TEDx uh, and we work with The Moth, which is a storytelling organization out of New York that recently visited 
Tulsa, uh, and we work with Second City. And so hopefully by um, allowing the community uh, access to to workshops and events with, with this level of national and international organization, we're adding uh, that value to, to the college and the community. Is your position mm -hmm. new with the school? I, I am the first one to hold it, and I've worked here almost nine years now. Golly, yeah. well, it's, it's, it's encouraging and it's interesting to see what you're doing with the job. Well, thank you. It's been, it's been really a dream come true. I've been uh, really wonderfully supported by TCC and the community mm -hmm. and uh, all of our partner organizations. It's, it's a lot of fun. Well, it's great having you here, too. We appreciate you taking time to come in and visit with us and the folks at home about everything going on at TCC because, you know, we just don't hear that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm so happy to be able to talk about it. And, and, you know, it's a huge college with multiple campuses and outreach centers. And uh, this is a great way for community members to get involved and just kind of get their mm -hmm. uh, feet wet with creativity. And, and that's also something I should mention is that none of these workshops or events require any kind of previous experience or talent or anything like that. The goal is just to get people to exercise the creative spirit we all had as children and to really look at creativity as the act of creating, at the process of creating, and not some end product. I still like the touch me. Yeah, I like you. that part. Hey, thanks yeah. for coming by. Thank you so much. We'll do this again, okay? Sounds good. I'll look all forward right. to it. Look forward to it. We'll be back with more right after this.